Hi, my name is Conor Morgan. I'm a student at Leeds Becker University studying business and management and in this vlog I will be discussing my behaviour as a consumer concerning three different products. Each of my purchases matches to a different buying situation and I'll be going through each stage of the consumer behaviour purchase diary with them. Marketing is a strategic business function that creates value by stimulating, facilitating and fulfilling customer demand as defined by the Chartered Institute of Marketing. As a consumer, I am the person using the products or the service. The difference between this and a customer is that the customer is someone who purchases the product or the service. My first purchase was an Apple iPhone 11. The buying situation for this product would be extending problem solving as it involves a high cost as well as me relying heavily on it. My need for this product is using my old iPhone no longer working due to becoming dated and I needed a phone to stay connected so the contract with the phone will have to have enough call minutes, text messages and internet for my usage. During my information search I found that the majority of newly released smartphones would fit my needs. Using the consumer involvement theory I would say that I have a high involvement in researching this product as it is an expensive purchase as well as it being an infrequent one. I looked at a couple of different makes for the smartphones which were iPhones and Samsungs but I eventually decided on the iPhone 11 with a contract that included unlimited call minutes and internet. I decided on this product as I am already familiar with Apple iPhones so I know the layout of where all the features are. To evaluate, this product meets my needs as the features available on the iPhone and contract keeps me connected. However, I pay high price premium for the contract which I could have possibly paid less for a similar contract on an earlier model. But as at all, I am pleased with the product and I would recommend it. The next purchase I will be discussing is a bottle of Coca-Cola. Routine problem solving is the buying situation for this product as I consume it a lot so it is a habitual purchase. My needs were that I was thirsty whilst being out of the house. My information search involved going to the closest available shop and looking at what drinks they had available. This relates to one of the four P's which are components on how a product is marketed. The P that this relates to is place as the location of the shop has determined where I bought this product from. The other of the four P's include product, which is the good or the service, promotion, which is the advertising of the product, and price, which is what the customer pays for the product. As I was evaluating the substitutes, I decided that a cold drink would be the most refreshing and decided on Coca-Cola as a preferred taste over other soft drinks such as Fanta and 7up. After purchasing this product, I came to the conclusion that it did satisfy my needs and wants. However, I partially regret my decision as I could have had a more of a healthier option to meet my needs if I evaluated the alternatives in greater detail. Limited problem solving is the buying situation that my third product fits into which is a pair of white Stan Smith Adidas trainers. I required a new pair of trainers as my current pairs were becoming worn and I wanted a fresher looking pair. During my information search, I looked at a number of different retailers including Foot Asylum and JD as well as a variety of different shoes in different colours but eventually decided on this pair of trainers from size as they had the fresher look that I wanted as well as the retailers having a 10% student discount which relates to the promotion of the 4Ps. Other reasons I decided on this product include my brand loyalty to Adidas. I own several products made, made by them. To evaluate this, I am pleased with the product and I would recommend it to consumers with the same needs and wants as I like the shoes and they look good, which is relates to the esteem needs in Maslow's hierarchy of human needs as it is a socio-psychological need which is connected to being valued and respected by yourself and others. To conclude, for the majority of the purchases, I would put myself on the edge of early majority and late majority in Roger's theory of the fusion of innovation as I like to keep up with social trends but do not rush into a purchase unless I am confident that it will meet my needs. Thanks for listening.